Oh, hello everybody and welcome to, finally to Sakura Fantasy. Now, um, I will be doing um, a marathon of it, but it'll be starting tomorrow. Um, this episode will be out today. It's kind of like what I did with Sakura Fantasy. Well, no. Sakura Angels and Sakura Spirit. Now, there's a, a little a bit of a difference between this. Um, unlike its predecessors, this has a chapter one. And we were never informed of this, even when it was on the green light. I mean... Yeah, so, if, so if that's the case, again, when, in, uh, when I'm going into these, I don't expect to get much, but having it, say, chapter one, I mean, obviously, it, there's going to be a sequel, if that's the case, how long it'll take remains to be seen, but, yeah, all I know is from this is that we're a girl, I could be wrong, I may be mixing them up. Because at the top, because um, when I was checking over them, um, uh, Sakura Beach came out, and that said it was a girl. So I think I'm mixing up the two um, summaries or synopsis, however you want to say. It. I think synopsis is <laughs> it's wrong saying, but oh well. Uh, Raylan, I think. Raylan, are you there? Are you going to wake up now? Probably not. I wake to someone shaking me like a rag doll. Raylan, Raylan, wake up! Kyra? Kira? Is he coming? I think that's Kira. Gwyn? <laughs> Gwynny, my boy. Hold on, wait, no, that's Gwydion. As I come to, I find it's Gwyn shaking me senseless. God. Oh, hello, wait. Okay, hello. So that's, is that, who's Gwyn? Who's Relen? Who am I? <laughs> Get your armor on. She'll be here any minute. Uh, I think as far as armor goes, oh, so that's Relen. Um, I think as far, far as armor goes, we got the highest stats. Panicking, I quickly begin to strap on my plates. Oh, wait. That, that looked like a piece of cloth. That <laughs> The other novices are panicking too. The clanking of armor be being hastily thrown on echoing through the barracks bedroom. I think I know who Kira is. Oh. What? Uh, okay, again, the choices don't really matter when it comes to this. Only the scenarios. So... And it would make logical sense, so put my armor on faster without underwear. I'm in a hurry. Maybe I can risk it. Who are... I think, well, I think we're here. I think that's Relin. I neglect to put my... Unmentionables on. Oh, include it. Oh, right. Okay. Right. Be careful of the cold, my dear. If there's one thing I'm thankful for, it's that there's. No <laughs> <laughs> Gotta give it props for its comedy. Thankfully, I managed to get my armor on just before I hear heavy footsteps coming down the hall. Please tell me who I think Kira is. Kira. Gwyn makes sure she returns to a bunk, looking as. Disciplined as she can. I also try my best to look battle ready. Hello. I'm just in time to see Kira, our instructor, march through the door. It is! Oh! My bungle. Uh, as always, she looks powerful and domineering. Every novice in the room completely freezes. With Predatory eyes, Kira begins to inspect us. Merely feeling them pass over you is enough to send a shiver down your spine. Well, <laughs> never mind the wind then. She doesn't really scare me as much as she does with the other novices, though. Fair enough. Good to see that we're all ready. For the most part, anyway. I won't be doing voices um, for reasons. <laughs> as I was... Oh, God. As I was walking up here, I heard a lot of clanking happening, almost as if someone was rushing to put their armour on. Oh god. One of us let out a small wince at those words. There's no hiding anything from her. She knows when you haven't woken up on time. She must have the best stats out of us all! <laughs> I wonder what our resident Farseer has been doing. Farseer today? What's a Farseer? Why does it... Oh, she's referring to us, is she? Why does everyone presume the worst of me because of my... Well, Farsia, isn't that, so, isn't that an oracle of sorts? Oh. 
I have not used my gift at all today, instructor, I swear. Well, I don't know what this is. I mean, I'm assuming it's, you know, to see into the future. Oh! <laughs> that impish look, but I haven't used my gift today. I would hope so. Gifts aren't meant to be used for trivial matters, Valen. So they always tell me. Why would I have a gift if it wasn't meant to be... If I wasn't meant to use it as I pleased, though. Now, that arrogance is just... Oh, God. <sighs> I don't think we're going to get along, Rallen. You're all up, at least. So let's begin our morning as we always do. Collect your weapons and proceed to the courtyard immediately. Oh, God. What possess... Oh, please tell me she's got something under the skirt, though. <laughs> I mean, come on. Bra, you can get away with, but... Uh, I better not catch you daydreaming today, Relen. Oh God, that pose. She's always, she always singles me out every morning. Why does she get so upset that I do a bit of far seeing every now and then? Yeah, see into the future. By the way, you've got your shin guards on the wrong way round. Oh God, I better not see that next morning too. Oh, thank Christ, alive. As I look down slowly, I see that she's right about my shin guards. Oh, good gracious. Embarrassed. Oh. Oh! Embarrassed, I take them off and begin to rearrange them into their proper place. When Kira is finally out of the room, Gwyn approaches me. Oh, thank God. You should not see being late. Quiet. I thought you were Gwydion. <laughs> The name. I went mad. Whenever I break a rule, Gwyn is the first one to scold me. I bet. She's so ridiculously well disciplined, it's annoying. I was making strange faces. Like what? I don't even think she said that, did she? Can I scroll back? Oh. What? Flickering eyelids, eyeballs rolling into the back of your head. Looks like you were farcing. It's it's a it's the same strange look. What the hell's for? What? I can't fall see in my sleep, though. It requires too much concentration. Well, you can concentrate in your sleep, surely. That's what you were doing, however. <laughs> Either way, it doesn't matter. Be grateful you woke up in time. Thank you. The instructor does not tolerate excuses. Well, <laughs> she can punish us any day. We both know what she thinks of your gift, too. What does she think of it? Tell me. Why does everyone call attention to my gift? Jealousy? Everyone has a gift, so what's the problem? They do? What? It is different, Ren. Ralen, that should have been it's. Sorry. <laughs> Even here, we like privacy. What? Wait, hold on, what? Okay, I think I'm mixing it up. What about you, then? Do you ever get worried that I could be watching you at any given moment? Is it is far seeing when you step out of your body and then in spirit you're looking but still alive? I need to check that. Well, Google wasn't my friend. <laughs> she can't help but let out a laugh at that. You're my friend, I trust you not to. Oh god. Oh! <laughs> We're getting a habit with choices. Is this to define our personality? <laughs> if that's the case, I give them props. How would she take that? I need to save. Shall we say that? Yeah, we're gonna say that. We're gonna say that. If it ends badly, then we're reloading. I can go to that one. I want to click the bottom one, but the pervert in me wants to click that one. But I love to see you naked. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't help but say it. Oh, under your breath. <laughs> Again, the comedy. What did you just say, Willard? Nothing. Nothing at all. I'm pretty sure you said something. But that isn't the point. Thank you. Kira doesn't like to be watched. Well, we have the most beautiful power, and I figure that is the soul thing. Or spirit, whatever. Or the idea of being watched, then she's just paranoid. What makes you say that? You have been here long enough to see her par- Oh, there we are. It's true. She seems to always be looking over her shoulder. 
well, with that, <laughs> with those stats, people will be one in the nigger armor. <laughs> I guess it's just normal behavior for her, though. I will not talk of you, you farting in your sleep. She's paranoid enough already. I appreciate you, Gwen. Friends look after each other, Alan. Excuse me now, I will not be training. What? More period work to do. Oh. I'll see you later, Alan. Until next time, Gwyn. Each garrison needs a bookkeeper, someone to keep track of records, supplies, and other essentials needed for maintaining proper function. Okay. That's where Gwyn comes in. She comes from a more scholarly background compared to the other novices, so she's being trained in other duties too. Oh god, it's a female version of Castle Black. <laughs> oh god. She also happens to be Kerry's favourite since she's willing to deal with the paper. With paper for her. Kerry hates paper. Anyway, I'd better get to training before Kerry dis- uh, Kira. That, oh, what, God, I, I changed the name, didn't I? Decides that I'm on cleaning duty. Dot 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 dot. Hello? It's another bright and scorching day. What music? I can just tell that we're going to be working hard. <laughs> the music's alright. Kira especially likes working us to the bone during summer. I can understand the logic behind it, but I can't say that I enjoy days like these. Kira, Kira couldn't look happier about it, though. Look alive, novices. <laughs> Alright, maggots. It's a beautiful day for trading. There's nothing like working up a sweat underneath a blazing sun. Alexis, you here? <laughs> no one dares to complain at the idea. Well, she's a commander. I'd be surprised if you could. Not even one groan of complaint? Your discipline is getting much better, my novices. Oh, God. She's so vain. Now then, you better get to work. If I'm not seeing sweat by the end of this exercise, you're going to be training until dusk. I took that in the most obscene way. There's no doubt she'll see it. We're training in full armor today. Okay, let's read that again. There's no doubt she'll see it. We're training in full armor today. Now let's glance around. She doesn't count, but still, the argument still stands. Of course, I'm on about Kari. Kira. So, yeah. The <laughs> We're practically... Will practically be cooked alive. Ah, that's what we meant. There's no escaping it. We just grit our teeth and bear with it. Arr. Kira does not believe in mercy when it comes to training. As she wanders off, I try to focus on my training. I shouldn't lose my focus. But I really want to see that power. Ah! Ah! No, no. Uh. No, no, I shouldn't lose my focus. I stop my mind from slipping away from me and try to focus on my training. Though I know it will wand off eventually, at least I'll get some training. Never mind. I'll become stronger if I at least concentrate a little bit. Is that foreshadowing? At least I can see the Empress's palace from here. Okay. Back in my homeland, the most impressive building was the communal hall. It could fit a thousand communal halls inside that castle. Maybe tens of thousands. Ardina, our proud empress, rules from that castle too. Ardina, the name which so many people sing praise of in, the ca in this capital. Brothers, oh brothers, my days here are done. The Dornishman's taken my life. But what does it matter when all men must die? And I've taken the Dornishman's wife. I have, I've taken the Dornishman's wife. I've tried to do some farsing inside that place before, but I never am able to form a clear vision of what's inside there. Something about the castle stops me from being able to farsi. Well, it has magical protection. I'd be surprised if it didn't. Maybe the councilmen... Yeah. Don't like others prying into their affairs. Not surprised. Better get back to training before Kira calls me out on daydreaming. 
Fortunately, her attention is focused elsewhere. You there, novice. <laughs> yes, instructor? <laughs> she must be a, a starting novice. I mean, look at the different stats. You have the beginner, the middle, and the master. <laughs> Show me your striking. And the novice gives it her best shot on the training dummy, creating an audible thud. Oh, not bad. You'll need to work on it. <laughs> She's gaining stats. Take off the, those undergarments. Yes, instructor. Oh, that smile. Even behind the novice, Kira begins to look out for more people to chastise. Chastise? I f well, she was really giving her pointers. Fortunately, I get back to striking my target before she looks at me. I do get tired of striking these wooden dolls every day. I wish we had more dynamic opponents to fight rather than one that sits there and just takes your hits. Yeah, that's true. But again, we're novices. We won't get to see actual combat for years, but why not train with each other? I mean, that's a natural part of training. As I strike the dummy on the shoulder, a thunderous yell is directed at me. Rowlett, do you call that striking? Put more strength on into it. Why was I going to say onto it? Those things out there will be merciless. You must not hesitate to fight with every last bit of your strength. Okay. I wish that they would show me <laughs> these creatures instead of merely lecturing me on how dangerous they are. Are you telling me you don't train with each other? No offence, but I'm starting to question your training skills, Kira. Every single time is the same rant as before. But I just have to do my best to bear with it. For the sake of my old homelands and my mother, wherever she may be right now. Twitching hands, I take my wooden mace and slam it into the dummy's head. Much to my delight, I hear the sound of cracking wood as the blow sinks into its head. How about that, instructor? Now that is much more like a relin. When you eventually get to the walls... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but that Castle Black thing, I want you to see, I want to see you crack some skulls just like that. C come on now, you can't tell me you only had one good strike in you, show me another strike. I let loose with another attack, this time aiming for the dummy's shoulder. Again, why aren't they training with each other? To my disappointment, it does nothing to the dummy. That wasn't what I was hoping for. Oh well, that's why you're training. You're going to need more than one good hit in a the fight. Then train with each other! So keep on practicing your striking. I mean, sure, I can understand the, the philosophy around what you're doing, like doing something like that before training with each other, but I don't know how long you've been training, and for the way she's been doing it, it's like you've been doing this training for months. Well, a month. Let's just give it a month for her sake and my sanity. We'll make a fine warrior out of you yet. Train with each other! If we can curb your fire-seeing habit even better. My instructor fully knows what I tend to get up to in my spare time. Having a gift of fire-seeing makes everyone suspicious of you. It's no fair. It's not fair, Al. It's not my fault that I enjoy seeing people in... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love her. I love her. Stop accusing me of things I may or may not have done. So you're admitting that you may have been peeking somewhere you weren't meant to. Again. Now, you say that like it's a bad thing. I need to see this power. Looks like she caught out, caught me out there. No, she... Oh, oh, yes, she did. I really need to shut my mouth. It sounds like you're wanting to push the boulder today. She always threatens us with the boulder, but I've yet to see anyone actually do it. From what I've heard, the boulder is wor is the worst punishment you can get. What is this boulder? The novice who is punished in this way has to push a boulder up and down a hill for the entire day. Jesus. It's so infamous among the knights of the capital that pushing the boulder has become a phrase for saying se severe punishment. But I'm not worried at all. She always threatens it, but it never seems to actually happen. Stop standing there with that look on your face. Do you really think I won't do it? <laughs> I don't think she would, but it'd be a good idea to get back to training anyway. I returned to strike in a, the wooden dummy. 
which causes Kiru to smile in approval. Yay! That's more like it. More strength. The harder you hit it now, the stronger you will become later. She turns her back to me to speak to the other novices. Each and every one of you is important, so you must do your best to train, to become strong. Some of you have lost your homes before you came here. Oh, you should know what it is like to be helpless before an enemy. What is this enemy? So you would understand why you must become strong. To protect those you love. To protect the land you love. And most importantly, to protect the empire you love. Okay. Are we going to get attack now? Oh no. Training over? No, it's not over. The sun reaches its zenith by the time we finish our striking training. I'm practically dying for a drink right now. Anything to wet my parched throat. Wet my whistle. Despite our suffering, Kira seems to be aglow with pride. Good work today, novices. I don't think I saw a single one of you who wasn't sweating. <laughs> uh, we still haven't dealt with the problem of our predicament, but okay. Since you've done so well, I'm allowing you to take the rest of the day off. Just remember not to do anything stupid. Well, we've already done something stupid. You're just not aware. I think everyone's too afraid of Kira to risk her off. No other garrison in the city has more domineering instructor than her. As such, this is this one in particular is known for being one of the most shining examples of discipline. Before I leave, Kira flashes a terrifying look at me. Here we go. It's obvious that she's telling me that she doesn't want me to do any farting. Never mind. I don't even know what else there is to do with my spare time now. We rarely get any time off to go outside the barracks. This is my life now. Day after day, training this in that same courtyard, waiting to eventually become a knight. I never get any time to myself. Well, you've got time for yourself now. Hmm? It didn't used to be this way, but things changed, as they always do. The world's has become a very dark place in the last century. As bleak as it looks now, none of us are willing to give up, especially not now. What is this darkness? As I leave, that novice from before quickly passes me. Uh, say something to her. Hey, you did well today. Thank you. Ah, Just please don't spam me when you're far. Ah, we were just trying to be nice. Now she's accused me of spying on her too. You know that I don't do that. Actually do that, right? Of course she'd say that. Well, what a horrible person. Don't you think it's a bit unfair to make presumptions like that? No. Okay. Right. She doesn't seem interested in conversation. Okay. I don't even bother to say anything more. She walks off. That's horrible. I just have to work out what I'm going to do with my free time now. All I did... Da 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 I was just making conversation! After the training session, it occurs to me that I should apologise to... Really? Why? Gwen is right about her being paranoid. So the best thing I can do to put her at ease... That doesn't mean I'm ho going to stop, though. <laughs> <laughs> there are just too many secrets I must know about. I love her. I knock on the door loudly. On her door loudly, rather. Kira, are you there? Here? I need to speak with you. <coughs> oh, you're not... Right. Right. Are they doing this? Are they giving us the choice to force the, the, the cliché or actually avoid it. But you won this one, don't you? You won this one? I know you won this one, because I won this one. Slowly, I begin to open the door. Oh, slowly. If she sees her in a compromising position and still opens the door... No, 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 that would be worded wrong. Right, she's opening the door slowly. If she fails to see her beforehand, then that, I will find that completely strange. Kira, I... <laughs> As 
I walk in, Kira stares at me indignantly. She clings to her chest as a last ditch attempt at retaining her modesty. Well, <laughs> she re she's removed other parts of her armor too, leaving her largely exposed. Her hands barely covered, though. Her chest practically spills around them. I almost lose my composure as I feel my cheeks burning up. You ask and I shall deliver. Her face is bright red too. She's embarrassed, but doing her best to conceal it. I rack my mind, trying to think of something to say. <coughs> Sorry, I didn't know you were getting dressed. She shakes her head at me. The motion causes her chest to, quick, to quake slightly. First of all, Relen, only a poor shoulder comes soldier comes up with excuses for their shortcomings. Second of all, don't barge into somewhere just because they don't answer the door. <laughs> She's handling this a lot better than I thought she would. Indeed, she crosses her arms in front of her, unintentionally squeezing her chest. You still don't have any manners at all. I'm sorry. You think you would have learned some by now. I mean, forced into it and having the choice. I mean, I'm going to choose it. But isn't apologising having good manners? She glares at me, obviously not amused. I am not amused. That's only one part of having good manners. It's the other part you should be thinking about. She can't help but sigh. What am I going to do with you? Punish me. <laughs> I'm so sorry, really. Please don't punish me. I don't like the idea of having to push the boulder today. I'm tired enough already. I'm afraid I can't do that. Mark my words, novice. You are going to be disciplined for this. You're going to have to learn to respect the privacy of others. She walks towards me awkwardly, trying her best to not let her hand slip. She stops when she's standing right in front of me. When I'm up this close to her, I can't help but notice the abundance of certain things. I look away from it, but it's right up in my face. She's... Oh, God. Are you looking at something, Relin? No, oh, no, 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 no. Wouldn't dream of it. Wouldn't dream of it. Right, okay. Let's just pick up the bucket of ice cream. Got the, the strawberries. Right. I'm ready. <laughs> What? What? You were hurt or what? I said nothing. Oh no, she's noticed that. Nothing at all, instructor. You do not see any... You do not see a bucket of ice cream in my hand. Or a tray of strawberries. She shakes her head again. Shifting her arm, she manages con to conceal her chest with one arm. And uses the other arm to push me out of the office. I'm afraid you'll have to come back later. We can talk about your punishment at another time. For now, please just get out. Da 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 My afternoon passed by in a blur. When every day is the same as the last one, it becomes hard to keep track of time. The day just seems to spill into each other. You never notice where one ends and another begins. It's only because of the cycle of the sun and the moon that I keep my bearings. Maybe it's time to do some fasting. Ooh, I'm thinking about it. <gasps> oh, okay, we're saving. Um, ah, right. Would this lead into? I mean, there's more than one chapter. The first, the one before this, seemed like a bit of fun. It was obvious. It was like, okay, do you want to avoid the cliche or do you want to take it? I took it with both hands. But while the others didn't lead into a romance, no, 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 a perfect example for this is actually Sakura Angels. While Sakura Angels didn't lead into a romance, we did get close to Sawako? Sakio? I don't, the blonde haired girl. In the end, not in that way, but yeah, you, you know, I mean, like instead of dealing with, yeah, so... I doubt something like this would lead into it, but if we start getting... Like, I want... Mm. Right, I have a funny feeling we're going to get a compromising position again. So, for the sake of me getting thumbnails, I... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
So Hart's going to have a whale of the time on this. Uh, sorry, buddy. I love you, really. Um, so, for the sake of... Yeah. <laughs> I will see you um, in episode two for Sakura Fantasy. So, yeah. And I can't believe they gave us the choice. I mean, it was a test of will. And they broke me. Good day.